Okay, welcome to uh, week 13. Um, here, is your act here are your activities and agenda. Uh, this is the um, kind of culmination of all of our work this, uh, this semester. Um, and so I'm glad to get here. Uh, this week we'll explore some evaluation models, uh, which is on our um, curriculum map and syllabus. I, I, I go into a presentation that kind of enters to four yeah, four, four evaluation models to kind of give you a cursory look at, um, you know, the evaluation of curriculum, why we do it, and, and what that all means. And that's in a presentation uh, that you can uh, in Sway. And so I, I use Sway in the beginning. Uh, as I approach the end, I wanted to touch on it again and to give myself some more experience. Um, you'll see here that this is uh, my presentation. Um, I have some embedded videos, which is my new experiment there, some considerations. There's a pretty cat seeking a definition to curriculum evaluation, and then finally some curriculum models. Uh, so take a closer look at that. Uh, let me know if that link doesn't work for you. There's cool videos at the end here I want you to take a look at, but um, good stuff otherwise. Make sure I'm back here. Okay, um, looking back at this particular project, uh, I want you to start working on your your curriculum map also. Uh, so you can start thinking that out and I've got an unpacking video down here along with the, uh, um, the necessary assignment sheets and rubric and things like that. This is something you're submitting to live text. But we also have uh, another two other assignments I want to take a look at. One is the uh, compare two evaluation models presented to you or based on your own research. So you don't have to use my own models but I'd like you to kind of just compare both. This is, I don't want this to take a lot of time, just throw it in a Venn diagram, maybe using a new tool like Bubble Us, Poplet, or Creately, or even Prezi. And just, you know, again, uh, you know the Venn diagram that on, on the outside are the contrast and in the middle are the comparisons and similarities. Uh, again, just identify two different types of models. That way uh, it gives you com some contextualization uh, of the content that was given in the presentation. And then uh, finally, your uh, Article 3 is due on the 25th. If we feel, and I feel like this might, uh, what I'm going to end up doing is calling this uh, week 13 and 14 so that all of this can get done. And so I'm going to revise these uh, due dates. If you need longer on the Article 3, that's fine. If you want to take some time on the comparative evaluation models, that's fine. Uh, week 14, I will be adding something on the politics of curriculum. Uh, there's some interesting reads on that, but it won't be anything more than just a read in itself. So uh, feel free to take the extra time that you need to make sure that you're getting all of this done uh, prior to week 15, final exam week, uh, which I'm really excited about um, culminating with. So uh, it, that's all I have for you. Um, I expect some questions and um, emails. I'll update this later tonight. But again, re uh, just to rephrase, uh, this is week 13 and going into 14 a little bit. So if we need, to, I'll go ahead and push those deadlines uh, back into later this week. So that way uh, you guys don't freak out that I'm giving you so much work. Um, I just want to get these last few assignments that I think are important to your development and understanding of this course and meeting our course objectives. Okay. Uh, all right. So if there's any questions, concerns, problems, or issues, please make sure you email me before they become bigger problems, issues, concerns. Uh, have a great week, and I look forward to interacting with you. Thank you very much. And we'll find the stop button here.